Alright, uh, 1.3 now, and with 1.3, oops, let's bring that down there, with 1.3, we're just solving simple equations here. Now, in um, the catch here with this is, in Algebra 1, they were very simple. In Algebra 1, you did problems like this. I don't know if you guys remember, but in Algebra 1, you would do solve this for me and in pre-algebra this is as far as you got because that's addition that's subtraction and you'd solve right well I'm sorry we're in algebra 2 now we're stepping it up we're starting at these alright yes this philosophy right here it's 2 times x so we divide by 2 on both sides and get x to the fourth we aren't having those simple ones anymore those simple ones are done. We are now in Algebra 2, okay? So what I want you to keep in mind is these are all going to be multi-step problems. That's the beauty of them. So, whenever you're doing a multi-step problem, we got to look at the addition and subtraction first. So because this is addition, we got to do the opposite to get x by itself. So we're going to subtract by 10 on both sides because we want to get x alone. That means all that is gone. All I have left is 7x equals 38 minus 10 which is 28. This is 7 times x so the opposite of a multiplication is division so I divide both sides by 7 and I get x equals 4 as my answer. Over here this is addition so the opposite of addition is subtraction so I subtract 2 on both sides. They cancel out giving me a 7x equals 37 minus 2 is 35. This is 7 times x, so I divide both sides by 7, and we get x equals 5 as our answer. Alright, taking a look over here now, same as the last one. This is addition, so it's subtraction. You want to get the numbers all on one side, right? Numbers on one side, variables on the other. That's what you want to do. Okay? That's why I'm moving this over. It's addition, so I'm going to subtract it. That's why I'm doing this. So when I subtract that on both sides, I get an 8x equals 36 minus 4, which is 32. 8 times x. I divide both sides by 8. That cancels out. I get x equals 4 as my answer using that concept I just told you numbers on one side and variables on the other notice how I have a variable and a number on the same side so one of these I gotta move around one of these I gotta move to the other side I gotta get over on the other side see how I have a variable on this side and the number on this side I have them on the same side so here's what I'm gonna do since this is plus 45 I'm gonna subtract 45 on both sides these cancel out. 0 minus 45 is negative 45. On this side I have a 9 over 14y left over. Now, whenever you have fractions, okay, to get rid of fractions you want to multiply by the reciprocal, okay? And the reciprocal is you flipping it. That's all it is. You flip it. So, means we're going to multiply both sides by 14 over 9. 14 over 9. So when I do that, the 9's cross out. The 14's cross out, which means all I have left is y, which is great. But I have 14 over 9 times negative 45. Alright, so that's what we have, right? I have 14 over 9 times negative 45. Well, here's how you solve it. I write it as over 1. I can divide this by 9, right? I can divide that by 9, and I can divide that by 9, meaning now I have 14 over 1, and I have negative 5 over 1. So really, I just need to multiply those two together. 14 times 5 is 20. We got a 20. 4 times 5 is 20. Bring that up to the top. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. And because one of them was negative, it's negative. So your answer is negative 70. Same concept with this one. I need to get the number onto that side. So I'm going to add 30 to both sides.
sides. So we got 30 equals 5 over 11y. So to get rid of the fraction, like I said, you multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. I can divide a 5 out of both those. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So really I'm saying, and those are canceled out, really I'm saying, what is 11 times 6? That's 66. So y is 66. Over here, it's minus 12, so I'm going to add 12 to both sides. So I get 12 equals 2 over 16y. So to get rid of the fraction, once again, I multiply by the reciprocal. Right? Those cancel out. So that means I can divide both those by 2. So I get 16 times 6 equals y. So 16 and 6, that's 6, 1, 2, 3 is 9, so I get 96 equals y. Oop, jumped the gun there. Okay, variables on both sides, variables on both sides. We will finish that when we come back.